Yoo -hoo. It's the time for Beckett from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So with this video, we are going to take a close look at the Sega Saturn once again. The reason why is very simple. We have a new product that is out from AliExpress and in my opinion, it's quite interesting. But if you have this system in your closet, you want to play it, but guess what? Your new generation television don't have its card function. So these cables are pretty damn pointless. And not even to start about, let's say, all the different quality cables nowadays, because you can pick up a couple dollar cable and you're not going to get a very good signal out of it. Another option to go to is with upscalers. And with upscalers, I mean the more expensive ones you can get from the internet. Yeah, and the main problem with these are like, they're like freaking expensive and not easy to use in my opinion. But that is more of a thing that we're going to talk about in a different video. This is what we're going to talk about today. It's the plug and play solution 1080p upscaler for your Sega Saturn. Is this thing any good? That is what we're going to find out and just see how good is the signal quality. So in the last couple of years, I've reviewed a couple of these plug and play cables. Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, they have released many of these devices. And I must say like, when it comes to the quality of the signal, it depends what kind of signal they're using from the console itself. But what I do like about it is that we're going to get option for SPS ratio, stuff like that. Stuff we didn't see with previous cables. So I'm very excited to show you what we're going to get. So here we're going to get, it's like an, I'm going to say a dongle, like we have seen with the PlayStation 2. It's more like a slightly better quality product. Then we're going to get over here the HDMI connection out. And my freaking camera didn't want to focus. Then we're going to get this slider that basically says what kind of XPS ratio that we're going to get. So when you're looking at the solution, it's a plug and play. This goes into the console, this goes into HDMI cable, and that's the thing you need to do. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see what we're going to get over here. Then we're going to get a very nice long HDMI cable, so that will be included. And then here we're going to get a micro USB. And if you're wondering why micro USB, that's a very good question, because we're going to need that one. So here we're going to find a micro USB connection. If you don't plug it in, this thing doesn't get enough juice and we're not going to get any signal. So the thing that we need is, of course, a 5 volt charger. You can also get yourself like the 5 volt from your television if you have this option. So take consideration, it's not included, but it's highly possible that you're going to need it. The cable can be used for both regions. So if you have like a PAL or a Japanese Sega Saturn, it doesn't matter because it works with both systems. Or better said, we're also going to try that one because I'm curious how will the signal output will be for both systems. All right, so let's plug in the cable itself. And then we're going to plug in the power. And here we can see like it's basically an upscaler like this thing in the name because already it will give some signal to it even I'm not booting up the system itself. All right, so let's plug in the cable and you will see on the background that my monitor will get some signal now. And here you will see like it shows already 1080p. Okay, so here you can see it says SV no signal. So let's boot up the system and it will show the image instantly. Of course, my freaking battery, backup battery is not working. So I need to choose my freaking time. We're living now in 1994, people. Oh yeah. Okay, so the game has been booted up. So let's go with the flow and let's put it in a different SPS ratio. And here you can see like it goes fairly easily. And this is what I mean, like when you're going to wiggle with the cable, you can see like it will have some problems with the connection. So that is something you didn't need to fix. But here you can see like we can put it in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and you can just turn it back into the 4 by 3 for the people just like that. It also will give the indication over here. So when it comes to this, let's say plug and play solution, I think it's a really great way to play. Yeah, for the people who are afraid of input lag, I personally don't really notice input lag. And yeah, for the people who are like familiar to c gaming, they will notice it. There will always be like a minor lag between these dongles, because this is just a very cheap, easy solution. Alright, so let's boot up the other region Sega Saturn, and without any hassle, we can play some games. So, I think it's a pretty damn awesome piece of technology they can get for your old school retro system.
What I understand of the signal out they are using is the S video. And the S video, to keep it simple, is a beautiful signal out and be it said, one of the best ones to use. So combining this with a video upscaler, we're going to get a beautiful HDMI signal and a beautiful image on your television. Okay, so is this the ultimate solution? I think not the ultimate, but I think it is a very convenient one. Just plug and play solution for your Sega Saturn. I know that like the dongle gets hot after using this for a very long time. I don't know if it's going to be an issue in the future, but I just want to mention it here. So yeah, let me know what do you think of this option. Hey, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family if you want to see some more awesome videos. And I will see you in the next one.